Welcome back, welcome back, and welcome back. Today we are going to do a KFC knockoff of the Twister Wrap. We're going to use some tortillas, some pepper, Mrs. Dash, some Duke's mayo, whatever mayo you like, lettuce, tomatoes, some red onions, lemon, and then these are the chicken nuggets that I prefer to get. I get these from Costco. So it's a pretty nice size bag. Does it say how much it is? Five pounds. And it's under 20 bucks. All right. So here is your shot of everything we're going to use. Let's get cooking. All right. I've just got a few of them here. I'm just making a quick lunch for my children. Only two of them are going to eat it, eat this wrap, okay? So that's what I'm going to do. Put them in the oven. Bake them according to the package, 400 for about 10 to 12 minutes. I'll be back. Okay, we're gonna put about half a cup of this mayo in here. About half a cup. Cause I'm just making a little bit. And then I have a little extra if they decide they want some later and I don't have to make, you know, I can skip this step. Then I'm gonna go in with that lemon juice. And I need about at least a teaspoon we don't need a lot, just a little bit. And then we're gonna whip that together. And get my little whisk. It'll whisk it better. I mean, it's real easy, real simple, nice little mayonnaise to put on there, but we're gonna get not take it up a notch, you know? So I'm gonna go ahead and put in about a little more than a teaspoon of Mrs. Dash, and I'm gonna do the same with the pepper. And then I'm gonna mix that in as well. And then our little dressing that we're gonna put on our wrap is done. See, yum, yum. All right, so we just gotta wait on the nuggets to get done, and we'll be building this little delicious little wrap. I'll be right back. All right, now we're gonna start with building this baby on up. Put a generous amount of the little dressing that we made, or not, use as much as you want or as little as you want, okay? And put it all over that flour tortilla. This is really good. Something quick to make for the kids, especially like during the summertime. You want them to get something that's gonna be real good in filling, this'll do it. All right, I'm gonna go down with that lettuce. And again, use as little or as much as you want. It is a crunch wrap at the end of the day. All right. And sprinkle some of those onions in there. sliding tomato and then we're going to add those chicken nuggets right on there and like I said this is something that my kids love you know sometimes when you go out to eat you taste something you like it go home and recreate it I do it all the time and yes I'm making it big and doubling up on the meat all right and then all you have to do is Wrap this baby right on up, and we've got our crunch wrap. I'm gonna give her her close up, and I'll be right back. And there she is, easy peasy, quick little lunch. With some funyuns, of course. That's what my daughter wants on hers. How delicious is that? Things made easy with Gigi. All day, every day. Everybody be blessed and stay safe. You'll see Gigi next time. Yum, yum, you better make some. Take care, you guys. Welcome back, welcome back, and welcome back. Today we're going to do another KFC knockoff, their famous bowl. We're going to do some mashed potatoes, garlic salt, Mrs. Dash. We're going to use this jar of gravy here. This is going to be some kernel corn, some Fiesta cheese, any cheese you want to use or do. And these are the breaded chicken nuggets that I prefer. We'll get these from Costco's. And here's your shot of everything we're going to use to make this delicious dish. 
this beautiful KFC knockoff famous bowl. I'll be right back. All right, the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to put in about a tablespoon of garlic salt in my mashed potatoes. Make your mashed potatoes however you choose to make them, however you normally make them. I just boil mine and then just add butter to them once they're done. That's all I do. I don't add cream. I don't add milk. My potatoes are just potatoes and butter. So I'll show you that when we get there. I'll be back. We're just going to boil them until they're fork tender. All right, we're going to put the chicken nuggets in the, uh, I was, was going to say refrigerator. We're going to put them in the oven now. All right, I just have a few here because I'm only going to make two bowls. My mashed potatoes are almost done. So that's what we're getting ready to do. Get them in the oven, about seven minutes, according to the package of whichever ones you have. So about seven to ten minutes, depending on your oven, I'm 400. I'll be back. And while those nuggets are still cooking, I'm getting ready to blend up those potatoes. And I'm going to put this microwavable bag in the microwave six minutes. I'll be back. Okay, into the corn, we're going to add a tablespoon of Mrs. Dash and a tablespoon of garlic salt. And we're just going to mix it up, okay? And I've already done my mashed potatoes. I just simply put butter in them like I told you. Just added two sticks of butter to about, I would say three pounds of mashed potatoes. And then we're gonna get those chicken nuggets out the oven. And then we're gonna build this absolutely amazing copycat meal. One moment. All right, let's get this party started. We're gonna go in with some mashed potatoes. Put that on the bottom. A nice little amount in there, however much you want to put in there. I mean, your part of your rules. This is another just one of them things made easy with Gigi. You want a shortcut? You could absolutely make your uh, noodles from noodles from scratch. I said noodles. Yes, I did. You can absolutely make your chicken from scratch if that's what you want to do. I've done that before. I'm just not doing that today. And then you just put those chicken nuggets on there. This is a way to get a good meal in your kids. During the summertime, when you don't want to cook everything from scratch, I'm telling you, this is a good way to get it in them. Yes, it is. And I'm going to sprinkle that baby with a little bit of corn. You can add mac and cheese to this too. I've done that as well. Just a little bit of corn there. Again, however much you want to put on. We're going to put some of that gravy in there. Okay. Just pull it all about. Look at that. Yes, we are. Use as little or as much as you want. Completely up to you. Add a little bit more. And a little bit more. All right. And then all that's left is the pretty. Put a little pretty on there. A little green. Don't hurt nobody. Green onions are absolutely delicious in here. And our meal is ready. One of my kids is getting ready to be happy. Things made easy with Gigi all day every day just a quick shortcut to a copycat kfc's yeah kfc's look at that all right i'll give her a close-up i'll be right back and there she is couldn't forget to put that cheese on there things made easy with Gigi, all day every day don't forget to like subscribe and feel free to share Everybody be blessed and stay safe. We'll see Gigi next time. Take care, you guys. Are you ready for phase one?